We visited the Sandstone Estate in April of 2023. The Sandstone Estate is situated near Fuxburg in the Eastern Free State of South Africa. It is a large estate dedicated to preservation of steam railways and military equipment. They also have other old equipment that they maintain. Much of their equipment is in working order and as you will see, the quality of the restoration is really high. In April, they held a two-day event showing all of their vehicles. Our tickets allowed us to take unlimited train rides and military vehicle rides. April is the blossom month for cosmos flowers and the fields were colored pink and white with abundant flowers. The farm has its own narrow gauge rail network extending well beyond the borders of the estate. They also offered airplane trips which was not free but well worthwhile. was Jimmy. He had a South African Railways plate number of 97. It is a beautiful class 6 narrow gauge engine with a 440 wheel arrangement. It was manufactured in 1895 or 1897 by the Falcon Engine and Car Works Company in Loughborough, England with a works number of 263. Then there was a little red engine that pulled the kiddies train. Her plate number is 1624 and she was built in 1912 for the U. Litz Sugar Company. Built by the Avon Side Locomotive Works, Bristol, England with a 040T wheel arrangement. There was a quaint little platform building. The platform sign indicated that this was Hookfontein Station. At the main guest area there were food stalls and a beer garden to help us through the day. Apart from the steam engines doing duty that day, there were many many more engines in the sheds to go visit. We 
Odisha was warming up at the shades. She is another Garrett engine with a 260-062 wheel arrangement. Her South African Railways plate number is 52 and she is a class NGG11 engine. She was manufactured in 1919 by Bayer Peacock and Company Limited from Manchester, England with the works number of 5976. Inside the main engine sheets, I was overwhelmed by the number of the locos stored inside. All were in great order, and I'm sure most of them are in running condition. Unfortunately, the light was bad, so we did not get great photos in the sheets. There was a miniature engine which I found fascinating. In some of the other sheds there were loads of other antique equipment to go check out. Some clips, small cargo airplanes. They were all World War II trainer aircraft from the Royal Air Force. They were originally stationed in Belgium and had markings from that division. We even had a Belgian pilot. Yes, that's me, my first ride in a small plane.
atmosphere were also some cool biplanes. Somehow they kept our attention for a long time. Perhaps it was the golden hour and the majestic background that made for beautiful pictures. My brother really enjoyed the Rato military vehicle, and he was riding along in it half of the day. There were quite a few other vehicles with volunteer drivers who were qualified to operate these old beasts. also had the opportunity to play fireman for one of the stationary steam engines. She did not run on coal but on corn stalks and wood. They had a beautifully restored Ross NGG 16 Garrett engine playing beauty on that day with the SAR play color of My favorite engine of the day was Avril, a large class 15F locomotive that is static at the Sandstone Estate. She was manufactured in 1944 by the North British Locomotive Company and was gifted to David Shepard by Spurnet in 1991. Spurnit was the new name for the South African Railways. David Shepard was a British artist that focused on subjects such as African wildlife, specifically elephants, and also steam locomotives. 
He renamed the engine after his wife Avril. The engine has carried various other names including City of Germiston and Brackenfell. The engine worked as recently as 2017 with the South African group Friends of the Railways when she derailed. He was decided to take her out of service. If you liked this video, please smash the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of the same content.